Alright guys, how's it going? So a nice and easy tutorial today, and this actually comes from a question on Discord, and the user wanted to know how to switch between cameras. So essentially he had three or four different cameras, and he wanted to render out in between them, and it's very easy to do to be honest. So I have camera one set up here for the moment. So what I'll do here is I'll just quickly add in another camera by pressing Shift and A, and it's always good to name these, so we'll call this camera two. So let's just quickly position it, and I can easily press Shift and D just to duplicate. So I now have three cameras in the scene. So we'll just do something like this, and let's rename this Camera 3. Now we need to use a dope sheet, and we need to create markers. Now this is very easy to do, and the first thing I'm going to do is, let's say we use Camera 1. On frame 0, I can go to Marker, and I can hit add marker. Now we could use a keyboard shortcut and this is M and what we need to do here is actually bind the camera to the marker. Now the shortcut for this is Control and B or if you're in the timeline you can press F3 or my case spacebar and you can see here bind camera to the marker and you can see that it's automatically binded camera 1 to the first marker. So let's go to frame 60. I'll add in another marker by pressing M on the keyboard Again, I'll press Ctrl and B, but this time I'll select the second camera and I'll bind the second camera to the marker. And let's say on frame 120, I'll select the third camera, we'll use the traditional method, add marker, and we'll use Ctrl and B to bind it. And you can see here, it's now bound camera 1 to marker 1, camera 2, camera 3. So we'll quickly jump in this viewport. So what we'll do here is, we'll just quickly scroll through the timeline when it gets to frame 60, it will switch to camera 2. When it gets to frame 120, it will switch to camera 3. Bit of a crap camera angle that, but that's pretty much the principle of it. And that's a great way for quickly switching cameras. Now if you're doing a product shot, you can set up 10 different cameras and apply them to frame 1 to 10, and it will quickly just render around the scene. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad, you know what to do.